Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I'm bringing you the climb on Ebony Moss, stage 95 all the way up to 99. And I'm glad to see that, and I'm glad to say that I can feature a brand new character at least on part of this climb here. We've already done, of course, Call Obsidian, Proxima Midnight, uh, and now Ebony Ma. Next up is probably Corvus. But um, Thor is going to be probably the only character that appears uh, in this list only um, because he just doesn't have what it takes. M maybe now with the changes to Ebony Ma, he does, or the changes to Call Obsidian, he does. But generally speaking, it's that elemental damage against Ebony that makes him so good. So I always like featuring new characters when I can uh, because you don't want the same five characters De deadpool 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 doctor strange doctor strange doctor strange we get it i mean we do have the five same the same five strikers in pretty much every clear here now but that's more uh, a product of the way that uh that the strikers have changed in marvel future fight rather than anything else okay so we're off to a pretty good start not nearly as fast as what we did with the other thor video in december if you guys remember we did a 44 second clear that was pretty bananas uh, I've since tried to replicate that clear with uh, with the same strikers and the same team up on a higher stage, mind you, and I just haven't gotten the same results. But the, the really nice thing about Thor specifically is that he can actually clear... Uh, we got some big damage here, which is nice, but um, he can actually clear stage 99. I've seen footage, I've seen video evidence of Thor clearing stage 99 of Ebony Ma with a ctp of energy so you can actually look forward to your if you have a tier 3 thor you can look forward to him doing well if you can build him enough and you can show him enough love i don't recommend tier 3 -ing. i don't recommend tier 3 anybody right now because the update is around the corner and that's always my advice but um i don't recommend tier 3 thor until he gets a did i use the tier 3 skill tell me i didn't use it ah, i did that's a bummer anyways uh, with an update so so close, I mean, it's about a week until the update, uh, or it's about a week until I get the APK, and then it's, you know, like 10 days until the update, uh, there's basically no point in uh, spending large amounts of rare resources on any character, which would include Tier 3s. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense right now. But uh, we'll see. Maybe Thor will get some love before Thor 4, Love and Thunder, because, man, that movie is still a ways away. Although we are getting that Christian Bale news about it regarding him being a villain. So we've got back-to-back -back movies, back-to-back -back Thor movies where they have pretty um, impressive actors or actresses, Oscar-wise, you know, critically acclaimed, uh, taking the role of a villain. We had Cate Blanchett as Hela, and now we've got the Dark Knight Christian Bale with the best Batman voice, by the way. Christian Bale's Batman voice was the best one. I, yeah, it's true. Okay, I interrupted the fourth skill there. That was kind of a mistake. But we're doing well for damage right now. We just need to keep the pressure on. But yeah, this is a this is a lot slower, I have to say. This is a lot slower than that 44 second clear. Um some of the some of the clears you will see are pretty bananas as far as the timing goes. Ebony Ma, like Corvus, they're very similar. They have very, very low defenses. And so they uh, they fold even at really high stages. I mean, this is basically the highest stage, right? They fold um, when you drop their defense. They just completely fold. And so, yeah, you can see here that we are just gonna make our way down to the to the third bar. When you drop that all defense down, they really um, and actually Corvus was the first boss, if you guys remember, uh, to to die on stage 99 way back in the day, way before the striker changes using the old uh, White Fox, Deadpool Tier 3, Sharon Rogers Tier 3 combo. And I believe that was with the... I think that was might even be before the Dark Star armor. That was a long time ago. That might have been with the Starlight armor. I can't even remember. But yeah, we got this here. Tier 3 skill to finish him off. No, 5th skill to finish him off. Yeah, looking like it. Boom! 47 seconds left. There we go. Thor starts us off. Thor starts the climb to the mountaintop, stage 95. Gets it done with a pretty nice team. We get a booty box out of it. Very nice. On to the next one. From here on out, things get quite a bit easier. We've got Cyclops up next with Satana lead. He's actually the only other fire damage character that I'm going to be using. Um, but this team up here, he's got the 30% energy attack from himself. And then he's got the... Um, like over 130 or 120% fire damage 
from both Ghost Panther and Satana. And now when you combine that with the all defense down from Weapon Hex and Captain America Hydra Supreme, you can see that the damage is absolutely savage. So the damage during his his skills, you can see it's not very good. It's it's kind of it's a little bit better than Tickle. We're up to like you know uh, maybe like grope grope damage. I don't know what you'd call this. This is like baby boxing, baby boxing damage. Sure, baby boxing. Um, so not quite what you would expect. But then when you drop that all defense down, it really goes. So. It's just a matter of time. Just gotta wait for those. Uh, just gotta wait for those co-op skills to come off cooldown. If you think that this is fun in terms of the damage, but boring in terms of the gameplay, a way that you could—I uh, mean, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible to, to save the length of the video and to not, you know, showcase the same strategy over and over and over again. But um, if you wanted a slightly more, slightly, if you wanted a much more challenging version of this. You could substitute Apocalypse and Rachel Summers, who are providing the, um, the, the, the mind control and the, the crowd control. You could substitute them for someone like Medusa and Yandu, or Kid Kaiju, Odin, um, Star-Lord. Any of the characters with command as their, um, as their co-op skill, so that they will reduce the striker duration. Or sorry, not the striker duration. So they, could you imagine? So that they will reduce the co-op cooldown duration. And that what that will basically do is it'll allow you to do these bursts of damage. These two, three bars burst of damage faster and more frequently. But Ebony won't just stand there in between. In between those sets, you're going to have to run. You're going to have to dodge. You're going to have to use your fifth skill immunity and your iframes strategically. So the fight does become more interesting and more engaging and more active rather than passive. Uh, but it's obviously higher risk, higher reward type thing where if you make a mistake, especially at this high of a stage, Ebony does insane damage. So he will one shot me uh, or maybe two shot me if I make any kind of mistake. So on the flip side, there's that. But then, of course, it's a little bit more engaging than what we have right now, where he's just like lamb to the slaughter standing there waiting to die. So it's OK. We're showcasing the, the deeps here. We're showcasing the damage. We can we can flex the skills in a later video if you guys want. Uh, we can do one tier three off proc, and you guys can see how much damage it does. Like I said, it's not quite tickle worthy damage. Uh, it's a little bit stronger than that, but not not by much. So we are now a little bit behind on building the tier three skill because we did that, which is why I was kind of skipping it in between. If you were wondering why I wasn't doing it uh, until. The co-op was ready that was the reason why but there we go we got it pretty easy clear there just a smooth three minutes and seven seconds bada bing bada boom cyclops gets it done i think he's faster like this than with his own leadership and a second support we got some awakening crystals beautiful we doubled up 35 awakening crystals we need those for the update i think stage 97 we've got kid omega lead boosting the mind damage of apocalypse and then apocalypse is the main killer here and the nice thing about Apocalypse, like Thor, is that you can actually get this done at a very high level. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be uh, 99, but maybe 99 with a um, Mind Damage Obelisk. Because he just does so much damage, just obscene amounts of damage. Um, and this is with a Rage, but he can still do it with a uh, double Mind Damage proc. So gotta give it up thor and apocalypse are both really good for ebony um apocalypse might be the best character for ebony because he just combines all of the things that you need he's got the mind control he's got the elemental damage he's got high burst he's very tanky he just has everything and then he throws the kitchen sink at you so it's real 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 nice so you can see we got some decent damage even off the strikers but of course it is when those strikers come alive that the damage really starts to rock this is what the tier 3 skill looks like without uh, any kind of all defense down or just you know wh whatever a normal amount would be it's not bad it's not great either just kind of it is what it is uh, at this high of a stage I guess all defense down is kind of um, a necessary thing but yeah very very strong and the nice thing about apocalypse is he's tanky 
He heals. He moves around fast. I mean, I 80,000. I don't. I didn't build him for PvP at all, and I've got 80,000 HP. So unlike Cyclops, unlike Thor, you can definitely make mistakes. You can stand in the puddles uh, of of toxic poison, and uh, yeah, he's just gonna tank that shit, or he's gonna uh, just kill Ebony before it even matters. I think the best, yeah. I think the best rotation, if you can manage it, because Apocalypse will do his fourth skill when you do the co-op. So doing your fourth skill and then doing the co-op skill is a bit redundant. So what you can actually do is you can do co-op five, six. I think that might be, you have to delay the five a little bit, but here, I'll show you what I mean. So you do this and you do five, then you do six. There we go. And so you just have to, I don't know why the damage stopped. But you just have to delay six a little bit until you see the iframe on five for that giant uh, sort of semi-transparent blue apocalypse to pop up. But uh, yeah, this is another quick three-minute kill. And it's crazy that the kill is this fast on uh, stage 97. Goodbye, Ebony. Wow. Two minutes, 46 seconds. What do we get for our reward? Let's see. Ooh, we got an Odin's Blessing. Perfect. Very nice. I'll take that any day. Doctor Strange joins us on stage 98. And Doctor Strange has one of the, as you guys know, most busted. He's got one of the most busted kits for PvE. I said it before he got his Tier 3, and I actually said it when Tier 3s were announced. I was like, what are they going to do for Doctor Strange when he gets his Tier 3? because the tier three skill is based on the charge up. And so Dr. Strange gives himself a one second cooldown on all of his skills uh, besides five, meaning that he could charge up his tier three skill in like five seconds. I was a little bit off on the calculation. It wasn't quite five seconds, it's about 10 seconds. But as you can see here, like his, his tier three skill cooldown is faster. Like his tier three skill comes off cooldown faster then some characters' regular skills come off cooldown. Like, to put that into other words... Oh, gotta be careful here. Oh, also, I have 72,000 HP. If, if Doctor Strange wasn't busted enough, I love Doctor Strange. Um, you know, let's put it this way. Doctor Strange casts his Tier 3 skill faster than Captain Marvel casts her fifth skill. So Doctor Strange summons, you know, the images of Icon more frequently than rate than carol goes into radiant form that is just wild and then you couple that with just weapon hex which is a cheaper combo than the one with cap as well this is the only clear that actually doesn't include captain america hydra supreme and you've got a recipe for an extremely fast like look at this i think i honestly think he's the fastest to clear and the most consistently fast to clear um ebony but i didn't want to put him on 99 again so I put him on 98. You can probably guess who's coming next for 99. We kind of made a mistake here. We should have been done already. So yeah, he can do the 100 second clear. Because um, we messed up with the damage. But he could definitely do the 100 second clear on stage 99. Which is insane that he can clear it in 100 seconds. Completely obliterates Ebony. We get some Awakening Crystals. And we get 50 Cosmic Cube Fragments for the Conqueror level. That wasn't a random drop. That's a predetermined drop. That's what you get when you play high stages, which is why I always recommend playing high stages. You get more rewards, um, and then you get better rewards faster. Last but not least, stage 99 with Lady Luna, with Misty Knight lead and White Fox. Now, the nice thing, the really nice thing about Luna here, she's got a CTP of Rage. I'm not sure if she can do this stage without a CTP of Rage. Maybe she can't. But the nice thing about Luna is that she synergizes so well with the uh, Strikers. Look at this damage. Insane. Disgusting. She synergizes so well with the Strikers because her cooldown, like Doctor Strange, um, her cooldown gets reset so she can actually spam her Tier 3 skill really fast. And so bringing along Medusa, bringing along Odin... Uh, actually does allow you to clear these stages even faster. Now, that damage was absolutely disgusting. Um, we're going to try something here. I think it might work. We're going to try to go beyond 8. Yeah, 7, 6, 
Okay, so we, we got a little bit more damage. Usually when you knock him to eight and a half, he goes immediately into this uh, animation, but he didn't because he was charmed by Luna. So I tried to time, time the charm on purpose. It's going to probably take us one more uh, co-op skill to kill him. So yeah, this is by far going to be the fastest clear. Her damage is absolutely insane with the um, co-op skill. We're going to pop it here and then pop this and then try to kill him. No. Okay, we were a little bit short. Dang it. <laughs> we're a little bit short, so she might end up being uh, as fast as Doctor Strange. Tragedy. Tragedy. I don't want to risk it. I was gonna try to do her tier three skill off the co-op, but we're just gonna we're just gonna rely on the co-op here. There's no way that he gets out or that he does anything here. Mind control him, co-op, and it's over. Goodbye, Ebony. Woo. 98 seconds stage 99 absolutely disgusting i cleared the stage in fewer seconds than the than the stage itself 99 in 98 seconds so yeah get some awakening crystals let's go pop that booty box that was five clears that was blistering speed and let me know what you think of those five and then what did we get here awesome very worth it definitely earned that reward can't wait to spend those mcron crystals psych anyways let me know what you think of the ebony mon 95 to 99 thank you so much for watching there are definitely other characters that could do it like psylocke like uh maybe blue dragon etc jean gray with a rage uh hit me up in the comments down below with your top five for this stage and i will see you in the next one take care